Local 7 and 103.7 WTIB present Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. News, sports, and community information and everything that's going on around town. Now, with Talk of the Town, here's your host, Henry Hinton. All righty then. A couple days before Thanksgiving. Welcome back, Hour 2, here on uh, November 26th, Tuesday morning. Good to have you with us. McGee had to... uh, Run off to a chamber event this morning. But Lindsay Fry has joined me here in the studio. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Henry. Oh. It's kind of an empty chair there for a second. You punched they punched up McGee. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? But what happened to Lindsay? How are you? you get, so you're working Thanksgiving Day? I am, yes. Do you get to see your family at all this holiday season? Not during Thanksgiving, obviously, but I do get off for Christmas. So I'm gonna go. Are they home. in Arkansas? They are. Yeah. yeah. They're so excited that I'm going to be home for Christmas. Oh, good for you. Yay. Good for you. I'm excited. Uh, A lot to cover this hour. Speaking of Christmas, the uh, annual Greenville Christmas Parade. The the, uh, Jacksonville Christmas Parade was last weekend. Mm -hmm. Did did you participate? Carly told us yesterday she was in it. I didn't, um, but I know April and I believe Dave was there, too. Our our station's down there. We have Thunder Country down in Jacksonville, Mm -hmm. and our guys uh, did a big deal down there. It was a lot of fun, they said. Well, the Greenville Christmas Parade is scheduled for December 7th. And, of course, uh, we've run into this problem in Greenville before. What to do about the Greenville Christmas Parade if, indeed, the Conference USA Championship football game is going to be played here? And we will not know the answer to that until probably around 3.30 on um, Saturday afternoon. Mm. East Carolina and Marshall will play to determine who is going to be the winner of the uh, Eastern Division of Conference USA, and if the Pirates win, they will host the Conference USA Championship game here at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium on Saturday, December the 7th. Wow. National TV game on ESPN. If we lose, we will not play on December 7th, I don't think. I don't think there's any way we can. I think it comes down to this game. It's it's either East Carolina or Marshall Mm -hmm. in the championship game on December the 7th. So the Greenville JCs for years have done a great job organizing and producing the Greenville Christmas Parade. It is scheduled at the moment for Saturday, December 7th. We're going to have Ashton James in here in a few minutes, and Ashton is going to tell us what the plan is in the event that there is a a Conference USA football game here in Greenville, what they're going to do about the parade. So stand by for that. That's coming up in about 15 minutes. We're going to... We're going to uh, tell you all about that. East Carolina won in basketball last night. Pirates are now 5-1. and one. How about them apples? The only loss is the close loss to Duke. And uh, they will play again tonight at 5 o'clock. At the, uh, in, in, uh, it's part of the NIT season tip-off uh, classic. Uh, this is in uh, Providence, Rhode Island. It's in Rhode Island. I believe it's Providence. And they'll be playing UNC Asheville tonight at 5 o'clock. So uh, quite a run for uh, Jeff Lebo to start the season. Uh, this after losing, a, uh, I think he only had one starter coming back. And uh, boy, I tell you, Coach is doing a great job. Akeem Richmond had a great night last night, 25 points. And uh, the final score, East Carolina 91, McNeese State 62. Paris Roberts Campbell had 16 points. The uh, team is back in action here in Greenville on s- 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 Sunday or Saturday. What is December 1st, Michael? Sunday. That's Sunday. Mm-hmm. So they'll be back at home. The women and men play on, uh, on, on Sunday, and it's a great chance for you to come out and bring uh, a coat for a kid. You don't have to have it clean. We're going to get it clean. Bowen Cleaners has offered to do the... They're going to clean all these coats for us so we can get them done to privilege uh, kids, kids that need a coat. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's our Coats for Kids campaign. We're kicking it off. And the first drop-off will be this Saturday at the East Carolina basketball game. Uh, you can drop them off at Boeing Cleaners anytime, by the way. They'll take them there, and they'll clean them. And we're going to get them to the Salvation Army Operation Santa Claus people. And uh, then uh, we'll have our big event on December 13th with Daryl Harrison sponsoring our Big Coats for Kids and Operation Santa Claus event at Rep Express that morning uh, that we're on the air from 7 to 9 on December the 13th. And uh, we're encouraging pr- people to bring either a t- unwrapped toy, bring a coat, a used coat that you uh, no longer need for a child, 
Uh, or you can just bring cash. And, of course, Rep Express guys are going to have free breakfast that morning. But everybody that brings a toy or a coat is going to get a free uh, East Carolina T-shirt from uh, Stadium Sports. That's so, cool. uh, Eric Jarman, okay, we have a big, big event coming up that morning, our big Operation Santa Claus event brought to you by Daryl Harrison, your local Xerox authorized sales agent here in Greenville. So that's going on. The other thing I want to mention, I mentioned this last hour, if you're like me and you're kind of getting in the mood for Christmas a little bit, Lindsay's poo-pooing it. You think, you think Thanksgiving Day is too early to start playing Christmas music? But it's not Thanksgiving Day yet. Well, we're not playing it yet. Okay. I just played that one no, this morning. No, I think your idea for doing the whole, well, it might be a little early. We're playing 24 but. hours of Christmas music starting Thursday on Star 94.3. Tune in and listen to Christmas music while your family's there. That's nice. 24 hours <laughs> of Christmas music on Star 94.3 starting Thursday. I love it. I love it. Good I think stuff. a lot of people will really enjoy that. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be a day where everybody travels, but it's going to be a rough day. A lot of rain. Tonight and tomorrow look like a total washout. We're getting uh, two inches of rain overnight tonight. Maybe another half inch tomorrow. Going to be windy, so be careful. Mm -hmm. um, I would say the later you can travel to Grandma's tomorrow, the better. Okay. Because this thing's coming. I mean, I think that's right. Hey, Michael. Can you see if Jim Howard can talk to us on the phone? Let's ask Jim that question. <laughs> you got it. Stand by. See if we can get Jim over at the TV station. Because I, I think people need to know that, right? Because mm -hmm. it's going to be windy. It's going to be rainy. Not good travel weather. And, no, not good travel weather at all. While he's doing that, there's one other thing I wanted to bring up. You know, the, with this uh, having been the conspiracy week, everybody talking about the Kennedy conspiracy. We've heard all the conspiracy theories the man on the, uh, the, the grassy knoll, the, uh, the CIA, the mafia, Castro, all killed. Now a guy has come out with a YouTube video saying that from inside the limousine, Jacqueline Kennedy had a gun and pulled the trigger and killed John Kennedy. Says in the 1960s, divorce rates were not that high. It was ab ab actually taboo to get a divorce. Was this the reason he was killed, or was it part of a sinister plot with her involvement? Here, I'll play the first part of this YouTube video. Michael, turn this up. This this guy, I, you know, this this one kind of takes the cake. Hi there. My name is Alan Lamont. I am creating a video about Jacqueline Kennedy, the wife of. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, the President of the United States, mm. and I do believe she killed her husband. I believe there was no shots from outside of that car. From outside the limousine, there was no shots fired anywhere. It all took place within the limousine. And of course, this conspiracy has been researched continually. There are hundreds of books on the subject, as in the conspiracy and the assassination of John Fitzgerald Kennedy. In my previous YouTube video I showed clips from the Zabruga film and <laughs> film. If you look at frame 313 you see most important details are this. I don't want to get sidetracked by issues that are not important. The subject of this video and the purpose of this video is that she killed her husband. And then he goes on and talks about how, if you look at the Zepruder film, mm -hmm. and they're, they're, show, they're showing it here, that you can the angle, you can see Kennedy's body is such that you can't see the gun, but she's got the gun in her hand. And that uh, the ballistics test and all, all of the, uh, the angle of the bullet going in his head and all that prove that it was Jacqueline Kennedy who killed her husband. Now, I've heard it was the limo driver. We've heard it was Lyndon Johnson. Have you heard the Secret Service agent accidentally shot him? No. You haven't heard that? No, I hadn't heard that one. There was a, they had an assault weapon in the follow-up vehicle, and they heard shots fired, Oswald shots fired. Yeah. And the gentleman 
undid the safety, pulled up the gun, and accidentally fired one shot before he swung around to go try to get Oswald. And that's the shot that kid killed Kennedy. Secret Service did it by accident. You know, here's the thing. Can you, if, if, wow. can you make money by coming up with this crap? Watch the because show. Because here's called. what I'm going to I'm going to say. I'm going to uh, come up with a theory that Governor Conley shot him. And I'll... <laughs> And I'm going to make a, I'm going to write a book and uh, get rich off that. Watch the show called JFK the Smoking Gun. Phenomenal. Where was it on History Channel or something? It was on, yeah, it was on the History well, on Reels Channel. Is what it was on. Hmm. I don't Reels. think we it get the two, Reels Channel. It was 2 channel. hours long. It was phenomenal. Yeah. And the guy had an animation Everybody's got it. You know, it's it like that, you know, uh, that one I can believe. You believe the Secret Service agent shot him? Well, it's a great theory because the the bullet Oswald shot was full metal jacket. It went through stuff. The one that killed Kennedy, the bullet exploded. And that's the gun he had in the car, in the follow-up car. Michael, please. It was an accident. You, you do not believe that. It was an accident. It was a tragic accident. Watch that show. It's very, very compelling. The, when, when you watch any of these shows, they have all this evidence. And I, I, I mentioned before when I was... Uh, when I was like a senior at ECU, this guy came and gave a lecture. And, and he, his lecture was that Lyndon Johnson was the person that killed, that, that had uh, uh, Kennedy killed. And I believe that for many years. I'm still not sure that's not true. But, but I, don't, I don't think Oswald killed Kennedy. Oh, I do. I don't. I think he did. He had, yeah. the, wrong, he had the wrong bullet. You got Jim Howard? I got how Jim How long Howard. has Jim been holding? You didn't tell me. For 45 minutes. Jim, how long have you been holding? Did you have to hold through all that crazy discussion? I've been off for about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See, told you. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard, by the way. <laughs> Which, which one? The one that Michael said? JFK's wife. No, the, the JFK wife thing is nuts. Yeah. you got, you got to go online and see this video. It's all over Facebook today. I noticed it this morning. I, was, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I thought, you know what? Everybody's talking about it, so I'll bring it up, whatever. So how are you? It's nice talking to you. Good to talk to you. I'm happy, doing good. Happy Thanksgiving. I, we wanted to get you on because um, I heard you talking about this some this morning, but um, I'm looking at the forecast, and I'm wondering, people are going to be – getting in their cars and traveling tomorrow, going to grandma's or visiting family out of state and that kind of thing. And it doesn't look like a good travel day. Is, is it going to clear up later in the day? Tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and in fact, tomorrow is going to be better than today. Yeah, uh, today's going to be terrible, right? Yeah. Late we've afternoon. Got, we've got ice storm warnings up in Asheville right now, uh, winter storm warnings, advisories from our mountains, western Virginia, west Virginia, Western Pennsylvania, upstate New York, interior New England. Uh, mm. I mean, a, a lot of wintry weather, but all to the west, Henry. The I-95 corridor from North Carolina through D.C., through New York, all the way to Boston, I think that's going to be all rain. Uh, so that's the bit of good news. So how about, how about here in eastern North Carolina? Um, rain tonight and tomorrow morning, and then it kind of quits midday tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, uh, the looking at the latest model data, I've just been – kind of perusing through it and uh, getting faster and faster with the storm. So it looks like by even late morning tomorrow, the last of the rain will be getting out of here. Good. Uh, winds are still going to blow pretty good. They put a wind advisory up for the beaches and Carteret County, and that will be tonight and tomorrow morning. And they're going to gust 40-plus, but this is, you know, nothing they're not used to out there. They should be able to handle that all right. And, and we need the rain. I think we'll get a solid one to two-plus inches out there between, uh, I would say, lunchtime today and lunchtime tomorrow. But Thanksgiving Day and uh, the weekend look really good, right? Yeah, if you like cold air, yeah. like me. I, I mean, I, I don't think we could do much better. I'm going to stack up some firewood, get the fireplace going Thanksgiving Day. We'll be in the mid-40s, a little breezy in the morning. And the shoppers, <laughs> you know, uh, Friday morning after Thanksgiving, the shoppers, it's going to be about 27 out there for the overnight. I guess shopping now is more Thanksgiving night. Is that right? Well, they're, they're a, lot of, a lot of the big, uh, the big boxes are open on Thanksgiving night. Yeah, it'll, it'll be cold. I mean, it's going to be a cold Thanksgiving, a cold overnight. But, again, I think a lot of people like it cold for the holiday, and, and it certainly will be. A wind chills Thanksgiving morning will likely be uh, solidly in the 20s out there with that cold air coming in. All right. Do you have big plans? you got to work. i got to work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. i got to move Lindsay, up the chain the ladder here somehow. Lindsay but, was uh, in here this morning <laughs> complaining about uh, the people at Walmart and Best Buy having to work on Thanksgiving, and then she told me she had to work, and now you got to work. I, I work most Thanksgiving. You know, Marvin's been here a long time, and I get it. I understand. I mean, he certainly deserves that, that time off on the holidays. Well, somebody so. has to tell us what's going to happen weather-wise. We can't live without you, Jim. 
And I, I certainly yeah, I can't tell that. you weather. You know, I, I'm here <laughs> through holidays, regular days, whatever. <laughs> All right, my studio, friend. So. Good to hear from you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. You too. You guys do you have a good me, holiday. Do you want me to run a little turkey plate down there to the station for you? Sure. Could you do that? Yeah, absolutely. My wife, my wife is uh, she's cooking turkey. I can bring some turkey over if you want. We'll be here through about 8 a.m. Once the show is over, I'm going to do everything I can to get out of here by oh, 8 a.m. Well, I don't know about that. We don't, <laughs> wow. The turkey might not be ready by then. You know what? Tell your wife thank you, though. All and right. Thank you. All right, so. Jim. See you. All right, buddy. Jim Howard, WITN, 819 and uh, 38 degrees now, going to a high of 62 today. And the rain is going to start later this morning. We've got to get a break in. we got sports coming up. we got news next with Lindsey Fry from WITN. And uh, coming up. In just a couple minutes, uh, we're going to find out what the plan is for the Greenville Christmas Parade, since uh, we're hoping the Pirates are going to be playing in Dowdy Ficklin on December the 7th. All that and more as we roll through Tuesday morning, 26th, Thanksgiving Tuesday here on Talk of the Town. Be right back, 20 after 8 now. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company will deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on Beast Stokes Road. It's a well-secured facility with a living manager. Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. Winslow's Tavern and Dance Art Theater presents the Nutcracker Ballet on Sunday, December the 8th at Wright Auditorium on the campus of ECU. This year, the Nutcracker will have two performances, a Sunday matinee at 2 and a Sunday performance at 7. Tickets are $32 for adults and $28 for students. Net proceeds from this event will be donated to the Children's Miracle Network to benefit the James and Connie Maynard Children's Hospital at Vidit Medical Center. For tickets, call 328-4788 or 1-800-ECU-ARTS. The Pirates return to Williams Arena at Menchie's Coliseum in November. Be part of the action-packed atmosphere as your CIT champion men's basketball team takes to the court. You'll be on your feet and cheering as Conference USA Coach of the Year, Heather Macy, leads the women's team back to postseason play. Get all 31 home men's and women's games for as low as $100. For tickets, call 252-737-4500 or visit ecupirates.com. Having a vision of what really matters is how we succeed. Keeping an eye on the ball, seeing all the things that we need. Focusing on the big picture, always striving to do what's right. Carolina Vision Care, we keep what's important inside. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Twenty-three after eight on one hundred three point seven WTIB Cable Seven. It's talk of the town here for Tuesday morning. Coming up, uh, information on the uh, Greenville Christmas Parade today is Tina Turner's birthday. By the way, the uh, Queen of uh, Soul is. I guess that Aretha Franklin's the Queen of Soul. What would you call Tina, the Queen of uh, Rock and Soul? Queen of Legs. Queen of. She had some legs. She still She's has legs. Seventy-four years old today. Happy birthday, Tina Turner. Also, uh, Rich Little, the great impressionist, 75 years old today. 
All right, uh, let's check our news and weather update now to the news desk. Lindsay Fry standing by from WITN. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Henry. Well, good morning, everyone. Taking a look at some of our headlines this morning. A shots fired call led to the discovery of a dead bear, which led to a citation for one hunter. The shots fired call was reported near Poplar Grove Drive, south of Greenville, around, the around 7 o'clock last night. Big County deputies found a black bear shot and killed. They waited for the hunter to return. That man then was charged with two citations for hunting a bear at night, as well as possession of an unlawfully taken bear. Now, that man's name has not yet been released. Big County's open bear season closed November 6th. And doesn't open again until December 16th. But officers say killing a bear at night any time of the year is illegal. And other news this morning frightening moments for a family family in the east when their home is rattled by bullets. Three children and three adults were inside their home when shots were fired. Greenville police reports show officers were called to 707 Patton Circle in Winterville, about half a mile from the community college. A little after 10 o'clock Saturday night is when they got that call. Officers say there were three adults and three children inside the home at the time of the shots mm -hmm. were fired, but fortunately no one was hurt. Police say there, there was at least one bullet hole in the door. No word yet on any arrest in this case. Well, two men deputies say made a woman lie on the floor while taking while robbing the store that she was working in are now scheduled to make their first court appearance. 29-year-old Darren Spellman and 27-year-old Marquise Moore were arrested by Pitt County deputies yesterday. Authorities say the two were caught in surveillance video from the Cash and Carry convenience store on Pactolas Highway in Pitt County. The store was held up one week ago. Spellman's bond is set at $250,000, while Moore was booked under a $100,000 dollar bond. A local man is accused of stealing thousands of dollars in supplies from a trucking company and then selling them for scrap. Johnny Hopkins is charged with felony larceny. Pitt County deputies say he broke into Botherin Trucking last Wednesday on Old River Road. They say he stole a 1,600-pound tractor axle, two gas pumps, and copper wire from the business. The parts had an estimated value of more than $8,000. Deputies say Hopkins then sold the items to a metal recycler, and he's in jail under a $100,000 bond. Well, that's your WITN News update. I'm Lindsay Fry. All right, Lindsay, thank you very much. Our uh, weather update now, we'll kind of uh, capitalize on what Jim Howard just told us, showers early becoming a steady rain for the afternoon. High temperature today about 62, and then rainfall moves in about a half inch tonight. It's going to be windy as well. Temperatures uh, around 62 and winds 20 to 30, 30 mile an hour gust tonight windy and rain at times perhaps a rumble of thunder overnight overnight low 58 and rainfall near two inches overnight tonight and then uh, jim says it's going to move out in the morning windy at times rain and a few thunderstorms in the morning and then uh, cooler temperatures and sunshine move into eastern north carolina 62 the high tomorrow uh, actually, the 62 will be the high in the morning, but uh, the temperatures will fall into the 40s in the afternoon and uh, then all the way to 25 degrees on Wednesday night. And then uh, on uh, Saturday morning, uh, I'm sorry, Thursday morning when we wake up for uh, Thanksgiving with our families, it's going to be sunny. Uh, very sunny, in fact, and temperatures in the um, in the low 40s. Forecast on Friday, sunny and 49. Saturday, partly cloudy and 52 degrees. I meant to ask Jim what the weather was going to be like up at Marshall for the game up there, but we forgot that. Don't forget, we will have our Choose Pews Pirate Game Day Countdown, a special edition Friday morning live at the Varsity Club in Uptown Greenville. Come on down to the Varsity Club, 10 to noon, uh, it'd be a good thing to do on Black Friday instead of shopping while you're uh, maybe some of your family shopping. You're a Pirate fan. You come join us. We're going to have a big pregame party. 10 to noon at um, the uh, Varsity Club, which is the old Bowley's Pizza location at the corner of Cotanch and 5th uh, and Street. And they're going to have a lot of great uh, beer specials, a lot of great food specials, great pizzas down there, by the way. If you have not eaten at the Varsity Club, I've eaten there a lot uh, recently, and it's really good stuff. And we're going to be there from 10 to noon, and then we hang out and watch the game. A lot of uh, they got TVs everywhere you look down there. So we can watch the game, East Carolina and Marshall, coming up Friday afternoon at uh, 12 o'clock. But we'll start the pregame 10 o'clock right here on 103.7 WTIB. It's our Choose Pews. Pirate game day countdown, 29 after 8. All right, what's going to happen if uh, East Carolina plays football on December 7th in Greenville? 
in the conference championship game, and that's the same day the uh, Greenville JCs have the Christmas parade scheduled. So we're going to talk to them right now. We'll take a break and come back, and we'll have information for you on the Greenville Christmas parade right after this. Accidents can cause serious injuries and create many problems in your everyday life. At the law firm of Hardy & Hardy, we work to protect your rights and help solve your problems. Attorneys Wayne and Charles Hardy help injured clients understand their rights and work diligently to obtain compensation for their damages and losses. Sharp negotiators, experienced litigators, compassionate attorneys. If you or a loved one has been injured in an accident, count on Hardy & Hardy. Protecting the rights of the seriously injured. Unlock the best life has to offer for generations to come. Introducing the Legacy Membership exclusively at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. As a Legacy member, you'll not only enjoy all the benefits of an active, family-friendly lifestyle, your children and grandchildren will enjoy membership status as well. Belonging to Ironwood is remarkable. Sharing it with your entire family is even better. Become a Legacy member today, only at Ironwood Golf and Country Club. Golf at its finest, life at its fullest. Summer may be over, but vacation time starts now. Greenville Toyota is going to give you a payment vacation. Make no payments until 2014 on any new Toyota. Pick the new Toyota you want and don't make a payment until next year. Like the all-new 2014 Corolla in stock and available now. Only $148 a month. Plus, every new Toyota comes with cover maintenance for life with a Greenville Toyota Advantage. Give Greenville Toyota just 15 minutes to lower your current car payment and then take a payment vacation with no payments till 2014. The Pirates return to Williams Arena at Minchie's Coliseum in November. Be part of the action-packed atmosphere as your CIT champion men's basketball team takes to the court. You'll be on your feet and cheering as Conference USA Coach of the Year, Heather Macy, leads the women's team back to postseason play. Get all 31 home men's and women's games for as low as $100. For tickets, call 252-737-4500 or visit ecupirates.com. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South just four miles from Bells Fork and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy where we know dogs. Pepsi, born here, raised by Panthers fans everywhere. Raise your Pepsi for a chance to win the ultimate fan experience. See specially marked 18 packs or visit PepsiRaisedHere.com to learn more. Okay, welcome back. It's Talk of the Town, and uh, Tuesday morning, November the 26th. Happy Thanksgiving Tuesday to you. And uh, we've got... Uh, Thanksgiving on Thursday, and then we start thinking about Christmas. And, of course, the Greenville Christmas Parade is scheduled for December 7th. We've got, you know, we've, we've, been, we've been faced with this problem in this community uh, before. Uh, December 7th is also the day that uh, if East Carolina wins the football game this Saturday against Marshall, they will host the Conference USA Championship game. And so people are already beginning to ask, well, what happens to the parade? So we're going to find out right now kind of what the planning is. Ashton James is with us. She is the chairperson for the Greenville JC's Christmas Parade. Good morning, Ashton. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for having me. I'm doing well. And uh, who knew the year you took the chairmanship that you'd be dealing with this, right? I had no idea. No <laughs> idea what I was getting into. <laughs> You know, this is not the first time this has happened, and I've dealt with the JCs on it for years, and it does create quite a problem with the traffic in Greenville and uh, and everything. And of course, uh, we're we're all hoping that our Pirates win this Saturday. You were just saying you're a big Pirate fan yourself. I am. There's <laughs> there's no way that I can go against them. I, yeah. I wish them the best. I I want to see them succeed. And of course, you know, it's a big payday for the city of Greenville. Uh, it is. 
uh, if we can get that game here. Uh, you know, probably a million dollar day to the economy. It absolutely in, is in Greenville. So it's kind of neat to have the uh, opportunity to host the Conference USA Championship game. But the right now the Greenville Christmas Parade is scheduled for December seventh on the same day. It is. And so, what is the plan? Um, as of right now, we are planning to move forward as scheduled. Um, we have moved the parade begin time back 30 minutes to 10 a.m. in hopes that should we have to actually move forward with the game taking place, that it will be done prior to kickoff. Um, and hopefully that will kind of free up some of the city's resources to be present at both events. Yeah. I guess you're, you're having to do, you're having to negotiate this with the uh, police department, with the university, yes. with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there, there's the police department. There are um, our entrants that make the parade possible in the first place. And we also yeah. have several important parade vendors that we have to make sure are on board with our schedule. Um, mm -hmm. that, that's another important factor to consider. Yeah. All right. So uh, it was originally scheduled for 1030 uh -huh. on December 7th. So right now the plan is back it up to 10 a.m. on December the 7th. And but but you're not going to make a final decision until Saturday, right? True. Right. So there is still a chance that that could change. There there is a chance. There's um a bleak chance that we could move it to Sunday, December fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Um, that that is still in the works. Um, and and as you said, we're we're not going to make a completely final decision until we know the results of the game against Marshall. Okay. And now, uh, how about people who want to be in the parade? Has the deadline uh, come, or can people still get an entrance, uh, entrance, entrance or an entry into the parade? Um, the official deadline has passed. It was this past Friday on the 22nd. However, we do not have our lineup finalized. So if we have any, uh, any last-minute entries kind of trickling in, I'm doing my best to work with them and make sure they get the opportunity to participate as well. How would they contact you? Is there a website or should they call you? There is. You can contact us through the Greenville JCs website at www.greenvillejcs.com. All right. And um, how are the JCs doing these days? Uh, you guys do such a great job with it. You do this. You do the 4th of July celebration uh, on the town common. You do some nice things for the community. We do. We, we really do the best that we can to kind of jump right in and get involved. Um, and we're also working on giving other people in the community, some local business and um, some community leaders, the opportunity to really get engaged and let them get involved as well. How do uh, what what for people who don't know about the JCs? There's an age limit, right? I think it's was it 40. There is. You exhausted age 40. There is. Um, the Greenville JCs is is kind of um, an arm of the Chamber of Commerce, intended for individuals age 21 to 40, and we we really do what we can to focus on providing opportunities for people in the areas of professional growth, individual development, and community involvement. How do you meet, like once a month? We do, we meet once a month. It is the second Tuesday of every month at 6.30 p.m. in the back banquet room of Winslow's Tavern. And you you've, you actually, uh, you guys do the shuck and pluck, which is kind of a neat thing. You, there's a we, lot, you, you, have a good, you, have a, you have a good time. It's a gr good group of young professional people. It is. You have a good time doing good things for the community. We, we work hard, we play hard, and we've got an amazing core group of members. We are always looking for, for new people that are willing to get involved or want to join. Anyone is welcome to our meetings. Anyone is welcome to volunteer or help out with any of our community events. Um, and we also welcome ideas. If, if there's things that people would like to see happen in the community, if, if people have event ideas mm -hmm. um, or professional training ideas, anything like that, we're always welcome to hear those. All right, the Greenville JCs and the uh, annual Greenville JCs Christmas Parade scheduled at this moment for <laughs> Saturday, December the 7th at 10 a.m. It's rough. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens on Saturday. We're pulling for the Pirates, but we're pulling for you guys too. Oh, yeah. I oh, hope, yeah. I hope Hopefully it works the best out for will you. happen on both ends. And I know uh, it just takes a lot of coordination and effort, and then to have to change things, it, it, it's, it could be a bear for you. It, so. it does. It really keeps me on my toes these days. So what, So after the game on Saturday, what's the? You, are you going to make some sort of formal announcement at that point, or will it take a couple of days, or, or what, are, what are your expectations once we know that the game is going to be played here on the 7th or not? 
Mm-hmm. What's the game plan? What what do you what's the plan on getting the word out? First, you can call me and let me know. We'll announce it on Monday morning. But but beyond that, um, what what's, when are you planning on making the announcement? Um, hopefully, we will have the announcement made by Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Um, following the results of the game against Marshall on Saturday, I will meet with my committee, um, and we will start trying to hash out any details or potential conflicts. Um, if we're able to work around those, then then we're certainly open to the possibility of moving the parade. But it is absolutely set in stone that if East Carolina does not win on Saturday, that the parade will go off at 10 on the, on the 7th. Yes. You're not going to move it back to no. 1030. So 10 o'clock on December 7th, for sure. Yes. If East Carolina loses on Saturday, if, uh, if, if, the, if the Pirates do win and will host the conference championship game here on December 7th, stay tuned. Yes. And we'll give you final details. All right. Yes. Well, Ashton, thanks for what you're doing with it. We appreciate on behalf you. of the whole community. We appreciate what you're doing and bringing us a quality Christmas parade. And sorry, you're dealing with some uh, external issues this year. Um, it's it's wonderful. Um, I I would like to mention that even if people are not available for the parade because of the game, um, we are also working with Uptown Greenville and Greenville Recreation and Parks Department. Um, to put together two days of fun, family-oriented activities to kind of get the holiday season going. Um, and that begins Friday evening with the Greenville Gives and the tree lighting ceremony. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, there's the Greenville Art Walk. And um, if the game is scheduled to take place, there will also be a free boot Friday. There will oh, there place. will be. There will be. So they're going to do a free boot for sure. They are. I, they I are have not scrambling heard that. and they are getting things together and they are planning on having um, a free boot Friday event immediately following the Greenville Gives event on Friday evening. Okay, good. That Greenville Gives event is done in the same location out of Five Points Plaza. Yes. And it, in, it includes a lot of different local charities. It does. Yeah. And it including uh, our friends from Operation Santa Claus. Uh, the Salvation Army. I yes. think they, they're always there. We're working with them on uh, a big event this year as well and the Coast for Kids campaign. So mm-hmm. It's a wonderful opportunity yeah. for people to kind of give back to the wonderful nonprofits that help us out in the community yeah. as well. Ashton James from the Greenville JCs. Ashton, thanks again. Good to see you. Yes, thank you for having and, me. And uh, shoot me an email. Let me know what the plans are. We'll get it out. I absolutely will. Right. Everyone will hear about it. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. 841. 19 now in front of 9 o'clock. we got to get a break in, and then we've got sports coming up. A lot to tell you about, including East Carolina playing basketball again last night. Be right back. The Pirates return to Williams Arena at Menchie's Coliseum in November. Be part of the action-packed atmosphere as your CIT champion men's basketball team takes to the court. You'll be on your feet and cheering as Conference USA Coach of the Year, Heather Macy, leads the women's team back to postseason play. Get all 31 home men's and women's games for as low as $100. For tickets, call 252-737-4500 or visit ecupirates.com. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. Accidents can cause serious injuries and create many problems in your everyday life. At the law firm of Hardy & Hardy, we work to protect your rights and help solve your problems. Attorneys Wayne and Charles Hardy help injured clients understand their rights and work diligently to obtain compensation for their damages and losses. Sharp negotiators, experienced litigators, compassionate attorneys. If you or a loved one has been injured in an accident, count on Hardy & Hardy. Protecting the rights of the seriously injured. This Christmas season, Sutton Link and Piggly Wiggly are teaming up with the Salvation Army to help local families in need, now at record levels. I'm Jeff Charles, urging you to support the Salvation Army's annual Eastern North Carolina Food Drive. With your help, we can bridge the gap between hunger and hope. Simply place your canned goods and non-perishable food items in a collection box at participating locations. Join us in making a difference. The Salvation Army, doing the most good.
Pepsi. Born here, raised by Panthers fans everywhere. Raise your Pepsi for a chance to win the ultimate fan experience. See specially marked 18 packs or visit PepsiRaisedHere.com to learn more. Having a vision of what really matters is how we succeed. Keeping an eye on the ball, seeing all the things that we need. Focusing on the big picture, always striving to do what's right. Carolina Vision Care, we keep what's important inside. All right, thanks to Ashton Thomason, not Ashton James. I introduced her as Ashton James. I apologize. From the Greenville JCs, the parade chair for the uh, Greenville JC. She's doing a great job, and uh, she is uh, juggling that whole thing, which is going to uh, be a big deal. I'm trying to figure out whether or not uh, we got a football game here on December 7th. <laughs> Bless her heart, she's trying to plan a huge event. And. Uh, she will not know whether they're going to be able to pull it off on the 7th or not until after the game. It sounds like they're going to have to move forward with it anyway, but we'll see. But thanks again to Ashton Thomason, and apologies for uh, getting her name wrong there when we came on the air with that interview. 8.45 right now. Time for sports. McGee is out. Had a chamber event this morning, but our sports update is brought to you by Stadium Sports, your new Costa Sunglasses authorized dealer. And, of course, uh, Stadium Sports is jam-packed with a great selection of new Costas just in time for the holiday season with the temperatures getting cooler. Stadium Sports is fully stocked with ECU cold weather gear. What a great spot to go by. I talked to Eric uh, Jarman over there yesterday, actually. What a great spot to go by and get something for the Pirate fan on your Christmas list this year. Uh, Stadium Sports is located in the Harris Teeter Shopping Center at 1400 G Charles Boulevard, the corner of Evans and uh, I'm sorry, Charles and 14th Street, corner of Charles and 14th Street, Stadium Sports. And uh, Stadium Sports is going to be a part of our big Operation Santa Claus event coming up on the 13th of December with Daryl Harrison from Xerox and uh, at the folks at Rep Express. And uh, if you bring a coat for a kid or you bring a unwrapped toy to Rep Express on December 13th, then you are going to uh, get a free T-shirt from Eric and the guys. At, um, at Stadium Sports. And by the way, I got an email from TJ Sawyer from EC Cats just now challenging all of uh, the parents that have kids at the EC Cats um, uh, location here in Greenville. He says, I want to t piggyback on what Henry 1037 is doing, Coats for Kids Drive. By December 13th, I'd like to donate over 100 coats or toys for the toy drive and the coat, uh, Coats for Kids there will be a drop-off box at the front desk of EC Cats. So please bring in a newer used coat for a kid in need and, um, or a, um, an unwrapped toy. And let's give, um, make this a warm winter for some needy children. Thank you, TJ. That's very nice of you. We appreciate that. Boy, how about that? All the businesses in town pitching in on this thing. We didn't anticipate that. But everybody's in the giving spirit, and it's the holiday season. And, uh, you know, we got a lot of folks in the community not as fortunate as ourselves. So... Uh, good to see local businesses chipping in, like Daryl Harrison, uh, who is sponsoring the big Operation Santa Claus event coming up December 13th, and we'll tell you more about that. Hey, uh, let's get some sports headlines in. East Carolina wins again last night in basketball. Akeem Richmond with 25 points. He was 6'11 from the three-point circle to lead ECU by McNeese State, 91-62, to in the consolation round of the NIT season uh, tip-off at Rhode Island. And um, Richmond was playing in his first game at Rhode Island's home venue since transferring from the University of Rhode Island to East Carolina. So he kind of lit it up for his old uh, teammates, I guess. Paris Roberts Campbell added 16. He had a double-double. Uh, actually, Brandon Stith had a double-double. 11 points, 10 rebounds for the freshman as the Pirates now move to 5-1. and one. They'll play again tonight at 5, late this afternoon at 5. They'll play again up in Rhode Island in the NIT season tip-off. It is uh, East Carolina facing UNC Asheville tonight at 5. And in ECU football, quarterback Shane Carden, once again named Co-USA, Co-Conference USA Offensive Player of the Week, 
after leading uh, East Carolina that 42-28 to win over NC State. Ruffin McNeil announced on Monday after a uni- unanimous team vote uh, that uh, senior nose tackle Terry Williams has been reinstated. Williams has missed the last eight games. No word on if he'll be suited up for, for Friday's game uh, at, uh, at Marshall. And the Pirates will close out the regular season on Friday at Marshall. The uh, Herd are a three-point favorite over our Pirates. Kickoff set for 12 noon on CBS College Sports TV. Uh, and, of course, uh, radio coverage with uh, our pregame show, The Choose Pews, Pirate Game Day Countdown, car- starting at 10 a.m., live from the Varsity Club in downtown Greenville. We want everybody to come out for a big pregame party at 10 o'clock, 10 to noon. going to be uh, pizza specials, beer specials, and all the big screens. If you haven't been to the Varsity Club, we're going to be there 10 to noon for the Choose Pews Pirate Game Day Countdown, brought to you by, Chew, uh, by Pews uh, Tire and Service Center. And in uh, NFL last night, Monday Night Football 49ers sent the Redskins to their eighth loss of the season, 27-6 to last night. The uh, Redskins managed just 33 seconds half yards. What is going on with RG3? And in high school basketball, North Pitt swept North Edgecombe. And the North Pitt girls. Victory. Yeah. Defeated North Edgecombe last night, 48-28. to uh, And the coach had this to say after the game. We have a young team. Uh, starters, Three sophomores and two freshmen, they are playing extremely well. Very aggressive. And from what we understand, the coach was brilliant last night. The coach, always brilliant. He's, <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's, he's also very humble. He's also a very, hum- very humble guy. <laughs> coach yeah. Carr, congratulations. Are you 2-0 and now? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Is third. this the year for you, by the way? You know, Ashley, I really think so. You know, but we're going to be challenged next See, week. See, you've got to learn the coach speak. You're way too cocky. These, well, co- these coaches always go, it's not me, it's the players. Well, so you're you, in there talking right. about how brilliant you are. And then, and the other thing is when you ask, are you going to have a good season? You're saying, I think so. Most, most, uh, most coaches would downplay that and go, yeah, you know, I don't think we're very good. We're going to see how we do. Well, you know, and that way, when you achieve, you look like a genius. Well, you know, first of all, I thought you was coming at me like a spectator, not as a coach. <laughs> okay, but the coach's answer would have been different. <laughs> all right, coach. Congratulations. Thank you. And the North Pitt men also won. The boys, they're not men yet. The boys won last night over North Edgecombe, 46 to 31. So there you go. All right, it is 8.51. Let's get our last break, and we'll come back. And, uh, again, it is Talk of the Town for Tuesday morning, the 26th of November. Thanksgiving is coming, and so is the rain. We'll update the forecast for you when we come back. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage Company will deliver a storage unit to your home or business today. Stallings Storage is the only local company providing mobile storage units 8x15 or 8x10 delivered to your site. If you are remodeling your home or office or need to store merchandise and inventory at your business, you need to call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage. We deliver, pick up, and store it for you. It's that easy and there's no need to send your business out of town when your mobile storage needs can be met right here with people you know. Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage is located in Pitt County on B. Stokes Road. It's a well-secured facility with a living manager. Fixed units range from 5 feet by 10 feet to 40 feet by 40 feet. We store boats, cars, anything you need. We are Pirate Supporting Pirates. Call Stallings Mobile and Mini Storage today at 321-2300. That's 321-2300. Winslow's Tavern and Dance Art Theater presents the Nutcracker Ballet on Sunday, December the 8th at Wright Auditorium on the campus of ECU. This year, the Nutcracker will have two performances, a Sunday matinee at 2 and a Sunday performance at 7. Tickets are $32 for adults and $28 for students. Net proceeds from this event will be donated to the Children's Miracle Network to benefit the James and Connie Maynard Children's Hospital at Vidit Medical Center. For tickets, call 328-4788 or 1-800-ECU-ARTS. 
The Pirates return to Williams Arena at Menchie's Coliseum in November. Be part of the action-packed atmosphere as your CIT champion men's basketball team takes to the court. You'll be on your feet and cheering as Conference USA Coach of the Year Heather Macy leads the women's team back to postseason play. Get all 31 home men's and women's games for as low as $100. For tickets, call 252-737-4500 or visit ecupirates.com. Having a vision of what really matters is how we succeed. Keeping an eye on the ball, seeing all the things that we need. Focusing on the big picture, always striving to do what's right. Carolina Vision Care, we keep what's important inside. When you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. No matter where you go in Eastern Carolina, there's sure to be an attractive and always clean Trade Wilco Hess station nearby. For the absolute lowest prices on gas, groceries, and travel necessities, stop at any of the Trade Wilco Hess stations throughout Eastern Carolina. Keep your eyes on the road, but remember to look for the green and white Hess sign. The best part? No one supports the ECU Pirates more. So when you're on the go, it's Trade Wilco. It's the best time of the year I don't know if there'll be snow But have a cup of cheer I know it's not Thanksgiving yet But it's a promo, man. Come on. We got <laughs> uh, Starting Thursday on our sister station on Star 94.3, we're going to go to 24 Hours Christmas Music, and you'll be able to hear some great... Christmas songs, 24 hours a day. So uh, check it out. Check you, we, you might hear this one. This was the uh, number two song on the list of top Christmas songs that people hate. He stayed out in the cold, and when he left and he told about the man with all the toys. Or maybe this one. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse. You're right. I'm not playing that one. No, no stress. <laughs> so 24 hours, it'll be better than that, trust me. Uh, 24 hours of Christmas music starting Thursday morning, Thanksgiving Day, from Thanksgiving to Christmas Day. 24 hours, going all Thanksgiving, uh, all Christmas music on uh, Star 94.3. Of course, we'll still have Bob and Sherry in the morning and Jennifer Little and the Greenville Grapevine in the afternoon, but otherwise, all Christmas music. So there you go. Um. If you're planning on doing a um, going to a, a a movie over the holidays, it look, there look I've seen some promos out for some movies that look pretty good. That new Matthew McConaughey movie looked pretty good. I don't I don't think I'm going to probably do the Hunger Games. I finally watched the original Hunger Games um, on like Showtime or something after it had been out for months. But the uh, the new Hunger Games movie, of course, uh, was the box office champ over the weekend. It did a hundred and sixty one point one million dollars over the weekend. One hundred sixty one million dollars. The Hunger Games catching fire. And so, um, if you want to go out and see a movie, there's uh, there's a choice for you. And uh, I don't know, Coach. Did you watch any? Oh, you were coaching your team last night, so you didn't. Did you get home in time to watch any of the Monday night football game? No, I didn't. I got home and went straight to bed. You know, when I was uh, I was flipping between the Monday night football game with the Redskins and the 49ers, and the Kentucky Wildcats were playing on Fox Sports, and they were playing uh, Cleveland State, and Cleveland State had them beat. What is it with the underdogs this year? Cleveland State had them beat, had them on the ropes, and then Kentucky, which is ranked like, what, two, three in the nation? Three. Came back and and won the game at the very end, you know. And of course, they had to foul them. Got a bunch of foul shots and all that. Where, where did they play that game? It was it was in Rupp. Oh, it was really? in Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but I was flipping. But every you know, here's the thing. Every time I'd flip over to the to the the Monday night football game, they'd be in a commercial. And I just saw this on the internet this morning, and I thought this was interesting. NFL games. More than 100 ads in just 11 minutes of play. For five months of the year, the NFL dominates Sundays 
in the United States. The NFL's popularity is all the more remarkable when you realize the average game has just 11 minutes of play and 20 commercial breaks with 100 commercials. So have you ever thought about that? There's only 11 minutes of action in a 60-minute football game because the clock's running when the, you know when they're in the huddle and they're coming back to the huddle. Just 11 minutes in, in an average NFL game, there's 11 minutes of action, but we sit there and watch 20 commercial breaks with 100 commercials in it. I never, I, I never realized that. Does that, that. change your mind? <laughs> you know, and I, and and what's what frustrating? I don't know if they, I don't think they all do this, but Monday Night Football on ESPN, every time there's a punt, they go to a commercial break. Every time there's a punt, and it just it gets frustrating to me. Anyway, wouldn't wouldn't it uh, like change their game plan? I mean, they have to wait so long. Well, you know, I've always said the NFL does a better job than college football because, again. If the game's scheduled at one o'clock, it starts at one o'clock. You know, if you've right. got a if you got a college game that's scheduled at one o'clock, it starts at one twelve. Right, right. Because of television, but you know the NFL have the all they all have hour long pre games anyway. So you know if there's a one o'clock game scheduled, they start at one o'clock. All right, we'll be back here tomorrow. We're going to take Friday morning off as well as Thanksgiving Day because Friday morning we got our big pregame show. Everybody make plans. It's our big pregame party Friday morning from ten to noon at the Varsity Club. We're all going to stay down and watch the Pirates beat Marshall at noon on TV. A lot of great specials and great food, and we'll see you at the Varsity Club. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a great one. Stay.